hello everyone and very welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a model which is really superb for creative writing like no other role play model for this week this new model which is called as rp max in 1.1 series which is a fine tune of llama 3 8.1 model has already shown a lot of promise in its benchmark so that is what we are going to test today we are going to do an actual role play with this model before i do that let's have a quick look at this model because it's using something called as rp max or role play max for a different sort of fine tuning technique when we say fine tuning a model in simple words what it means is that we train an existing pre-trained model on our own data set rp max is a new fine tuning technique which has been used for this rp max model rp max is mostly successful thanks to the training data set that the creator used for these models fine tuning and i'm saying models because it comes in various variants in 3.8 billion 8 billion 12 billion and 70 billion as i only have gpu of 48 gpu of vram and vdr dxa 6000 courtesy masked compute so i am just going to use my 8 billion one and if you're looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus so coming back to this model this model has um, been tested on various creative writing and role play data set and in rp max what this creator has done he went to hugging face picked up a lot of open source data sets which were focused on writing and role play and then he curated them to weed out data sets that are purely synthetic generations as they often only serve to dump down the model and make the model learn gptism rather than help so what he did he then used llama 3.1 to create a database of the characters and situations that are portrayed in those data sets which is then used to deduplicate this data set to make sure that there is only a single entry of any character or situation and the motivation for this is that he realized that models often overfit and latch on to character troops or stories that are in popular role play and creative writing data set so he focused on quality instead of quantity and so the data set for rp max is actually orders of magnitude smaller than it would be if he left all these repeated characters and situations in the data set so the end result is a model that does not feel like just another remix of any other role play model with same tropes that keep repeating so in this video we are going to test it out so what i'm going to do in this video i am just going to use text generation web ui ubabuga and silly tavern for front end so back end is this uh, ubabuga and if you don't know how to install these two i already have done a video here sorry no, not this one let me move this this one so go to my channel click on search button and search with silly tavern with ubabuga and you need to watch this first video if you want to also install it like me and just watch it it shows you step by step how to install silly tavern with ubabuga and once you have it you will first go to text generation web ui here in this field you will search with this rp max model and you can grab this by just clicking here on this copy button just grab it go to uh, this text generation web ui paste it click download and then load the model by clicking here after selecting it and then you see that it is successfully loaded once you have done that come to silly tavern go to this plug icon and then click on connect and it will connect to your new model and then i have already defined myself as jason just a uh, fictional character and then for the models role play i have gone with this dungeon master or dnd &D. so dnd &D is a fantasy role play which for a, mostly for the adventure so this i have just grabbed from uh, online and then i have loaded it and if you as i already have shown you in this video which i just showed you how to load these cards and stuff so everything is ready i am just going to start the role play i'm just going to uh, click here and then ask the model some questions and we'll do the role play and we will see how model works also you can see here um, 
there's a description as what this role play is so ai is acting as dungeon master for this dnd based adventure game so let's see how it goes so i'm just going to type here what is my quest so jason is me so let's wait for the model to come back with the response and the dungeon master has given me a quest it is saying you are wandering down a muddy forest path lost in thought about how much you'd rather be at home enjoying a cold beer and watching the footy now um, it is talking about beer and footy because these are australian sports and my character is australian so model is has already adapt, adapt, uh, you know adopted the role and also knows my role and then it is saying suddenly a disgusting little goblin pops out of nowhere brandishing a filthy blade and then it is just talking some uh, goblin language and then it has given me what do you do the goblin seems completely unhinged and ready to fight at a moment notice it's clear you need to act quickly to avoid being squid or worse and then it is giving me some of the options here which you can check out from your portal card so my abilities are great weapon fighting second wind available action search so okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to say i charge forward swinging my great sword at the goblin let's see what happens then so you have great weapon fighting let's see and now the dungeon master or in effect the model rp max says with a mighty roar you charge forward your great sword raised high overhead the goblin lets out a shrill shriek of surprise as you bear down upon it the heavy blade so there is a fighting going on and goblins goes hit here greeting mortal and then sorry read this the, suddenly the goblin begins to glow with an airy green light and you hear a voice emanating from its body greetings mortal i am gribble spirit of mischief and chaos in life i delighted in causing trouble for travelers such as yourself now in death i offer you a choice so you may choose to slay me once more ending my existence forever or if you're feeling especially adventurous you may accept my challenge let's see i say i accept your challenge what does it entail let's see and now look at the response our brave soul very well then let us see what you are made of my challenge is simple but not easy so look all of this is coming from the model and you can already see that not only the role play looks very different very of very high quality it really is immersed in this role play and putting uh, me again and again in a tight spot so look at all the emotions all the nuances it is showing all the text simply out of this world so finally i mean i'm just going to you can play it whole day but i'm just going to provoke it so i'm saying incredible you pathetic little past your minions like look like they were spawned from the dumpster now uh, and remember these are role play models they could just start uh, getting off the rails very quickly so it could be an sfw or anything like that so be aware that you are aware of it now so if i just go up it so gribble laughs manically clearly enjoying your taunts so the big bad hero wants to play rough does he very well let's see how you fare against my finest creations so you can see that it could be real real um, good stuff so you can just play the game here as long as you want so i'm very impressed by the model i think its role play and creative writing is really good let me know what your thoughts are i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching